Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of DBT series, we are going to see how we can create and update DBT seats. So initially when I started this whole series, I showed you how, how a typical DBT project structure looks like in that I have explained each and every part of DBT. So DBT seats is one of it. Usually in any project, sometimes you want to load a table from a particular CSV file, maybe some kind of a static table, right, which changes very, very, uh, you know, uh, very rarely or something like that. So in that case, DBT seeds comes into picture where you can create a table, maybe let's say from a Excel file or maybe from a CSV file as well. So that is where seeds come handy. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as do subscribe to my channel in case you guys have not done so. So let's move ahead and I'll go to the project that we have been creating, which is nothing but our DBT project one. And if you look at the project structure over here, all of us knows that we have something called a seeds over here. So here we are going to create a new file. And in this particular new file, we are going to basically create a CSV file over here. Now, let me name my CSV file as this C distribution center new dot CSV. So this becomes my CSV file. So this is nothing. But eventually what I'm trying to do over here is I am trying to take the data from nothing but one of the tables. So if I go to my BigQuery over here where I have my the link the look e-commerce data set which we are using in this whole project there is a table called as distribution center so from here itself I'm taking the data and I'm creating a CSV file for this particular project so if I go back to the Visual Studio code so this is a sample data and let me click on save so here you have id name latitude and longitude coming in from the distribution center so the moment you create a csv file right you also need to create a yaml file now just like in all the models right it behaves like a typical model okay it just behaves like a typical model so in the model as well you have you know your uh, yaml file where you describe the you know all the columns and the metadata, the tests. So similarly, in the seeds also, we will define a YAML file over here. I can simply call, let's say, if I go over here, if I click on new file, I can simply say seeds.yaml and I can create a YAML file. And in this YAML file, I can provide the metadata or information about my CSV. So if I go over here, you can actually see this is the my seeds.yaml file. Let me just save it as well, both the files. And you can see here I'm saying that this particular YAML file is giving the description of seed distribution centers underscore new. It is giving the distribution, it is giving the description of this particular CSV file. Okay. And then we are running some tests as well on top of it. So DBT expectations, if you, in case you guys have not watched my videos, I do recommend watching them to understand these tests. So here we are putting in dbt expectation test and we are saying expect table row count to equals all of this i have already explained in my previous video so i'll not go through it because it's a proper topic in itself so we are just calling dbt expectation package from here so if you see over here dbt expectations from dbt expectations i am just calling you know this particular macro which is which, which is nothing but eventually it is just going to you know run a test on my particular seat. Now here, if I go to my column over here, I am mentioning the name of my column as ID, name, latitude and longitude. I am running the test of not null and unique. And then if you want to give any column types, if you want to give the uh, data types, you can give it. If you specify the data types inside the config over here, then those data types will be enforced if you do not define the data types over here, then automatically it will take the data types of your target warehouse. In my case, it's BigQuery, right? So let me just simply save it. So this becomes my seed. So in case I have to create a table from my seed, I just have to run the command of dbt seeds and enter. So this dbt seed is nothing but this dbt seed. Let me correct the spelling. It is 
not s it, it is dbt s e e t so the moment i enter it you will actually see that my seed command starts running and what it will do is it will check the csv file which is present under the seed section and after that it is going to read the seeds.yaml file which we have defined do the tests whatever we have defined it will take the names of the columns it will take the data types in case you have defined it and then it will clear the table in your assigned uh, big query account or in your assigned big query project so you can see that it has actually run it now if i go back to my big query project and if i go to my particular project let me just scroll it up which is this is my big query project and if i click on my dbt my project one there you can actually see that c distribution center new got created so now if you see integer string float float right if i go over here to my yaml file integer string float float right so this is exactly how it got created if i go to preview we will see the pune and hyderabad the same data that i created is actually present over here so this is exactly how your seeds function in dbt but remember that you know this dbt seed will actually function with or it will get refreshed only with your dbt seed command it will not get refreshed with your dbt run command in this case so let's say you are starting with the project every day you're starting a run of your pipeline and you need your table to get refreshed from the csv file in that case you have to make sure that you run your dbt seed command first so this is how it exactly work and once built this is how you know you can refer to a csv file create seeds.yaml and then create a table as well so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel as well and thank you so much for being till here